Hey guys, Baradus here, welcome back to Feed the Beast. I finally remembered that these are all thermal expansion machines. And yeah, so last time we got these set up, we built these, we set them up, we got our Tesseract frames built, ready to try and make a... what are we going to make first? Probably the item Tesseract. Let's see, yeah, item Tesseract. What's the liquid one need? Uh, liquid energy conductance coil. Okay, so they're all pretty straightforward. Yeah. Okay, so what we need to do is put our tesseract frames in the transposer. Oh, and there we go. It's already working. So I guess we just choose the direction that we want to pull liquid out or put liquid in. So we're putting liquid into the tesseract frame. Which I guess will give us our bam unattuned tesseract, and that's making the second one as well. So was that the right amount? Yep, perfect. Okay. So to finish them off, all we need is three tin, two silver, and a pneumatic servo, which is redstone, iron, and glass. Cool. So there's our two unattuned tesseracts. Uh, do I have more glass? I should have more glass. I smelted. Yeah, there we go. Uh, and I put all the bars away, so we're going to need... Uh, let's see, we need iron, we need silver. Whoops, I don't mean to grab all the silver. Four of them. Yeah, we need four of them. And one, two, three, one, two, three. Ten. Yeah, because the servo, pneumatic servo doesn't need, no, it just needs iron. Okay, we're good. Let's get these built and then we can see how they work. Uh, so, first of all, we have to make two of these pneumatic servos. Is that what we're called? Cool? Yeah, pneumatic servo. So, two of them, the tesseract, then we put two tin at the top, two on each bottom bit and the silver like that BAM! Two item tesseracts okay so let's just place one of these oh okay so we set it like this so click access send receive information use these to quickly transport things across vast distances tune the end of frequency to determine links control tab so can I just name it uh, quarry? Frequency one. Save it as quarry. Okay, I think that's right. So do we pick this up like this or with an axe? I'm guessing with the pick. Yeah, there we go. Okay. So, first of all, we're just gonna... I don't know, we'll just hack this together first, just to see if it works. We'll fly out to here. And we'd have to try and recover these pipes without losing them all underwater. Which would be interesting. We'll grab these ones for now. Yeah, I don't want to lose these gold pipes. The gold pipes are valuable to me. Okay, so I'm guessing I can just put pipe out the top. Uh, drop the tesseract there. Set it to quarry. And I'm guessing that will work now, so leave the cable there, I'll fly over to here and we'll just plug it in over here for now and then we'll fire up the quarry and see if it works. So all I should be able to do is just break that, place it there, set it to quarry and 
Send only, receive only? Yeah, that's what we want to do because we don't want anything to backflow. Uh, we'll set that one when we get over there, but let's fire this up first. Actually, what I can do, be sneaky about it, let's run over here. And we'll set this to send only. Uh, send only, yeah. Okay, let's get our wireless transmitter, set it to a quarry, hold right click, and this should start running. There we go. So where are the items? Where are the items? I'm not seeing them, where are they? Are they coming out this end? Okay, yeah they are. Alright, cool. We're just not seeing it on the other end. But that is working perfectly. Let me just turn off the receiver and the flow of items should stop. Right about... Hmm. There we go. Okay. Cool. So that works perfectly. So, that was pretty easy, pretty straightforward actually. Now before we continue... So I'm going to want to shift some of this piping. So let's break the tesseract and pick up some of these pipes. And I'm going to move this... Uh, let's break these up as well, pick all this up. You, you, you. All of that stuff and... Dirt block there, and I need another stone dam. Uh, we'll put that there just to block that up for now. So let's break these. We're going to break this pipe network all the way down to where it splits off, I'd say. Where it splits here. Now, from here, we need to divert. Oh, what? When did this happen? Oh no, how much stuff did we lose there? Oh my god, we would have lost all the ore that we've mined last episode. Oh, and all that silver that was coming back down the line. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Did that that must have been destroyed when the um creeper blew up the other pipe system up higher. No? When would the oh yeah through here. When the other pipes went through there I think. Maybe. I'm not sure. Damn it, that's that sucks. <sighs> okay, so how are we gonna rewire this? Uh, okay, I think I know what I'm gonna do here. Now let's pick up all of these. Well, there's all this tubing. Whoops, did not mean to break that. Pick this all up. Put that back there. Now, uh, let's see. Just punch my way up to here. 
So, in this corner... Yeah, that'll work. So in this corner, we'll shift the bed, put it over here, so it's out of the way. Put it, put it up here. So we'll have our, the, you know, just throw stuff away chest here. And that means I can put the redstone engines there and there. And okay, uh, where's my wooden transport pipe? There, engine there, engine there. They shouldn't. They look like they're connecting, but these don't have an inventory, so they shouldn't actually connect. I might end up getting some covers just to make sure they don't. That should be fine, so stuff from the overflow chest will come down and land. Let's see, we want this say say if we left it there, placed it under that there. Have them run to mm. how am I gonna do this? Probably should have thought this through before I started. Ah uh. so put that there, I can run them out like that. And like that actually yeah that'll work okay okay that should do what I want it to so the tubing network will go like this the chest will be there and the stuff from that chest will flow into there the stuff from this one will flow into there And then these transposers can go. I'm gonna have to. Oh wait, but then how do I get the? Okay, this will have to go down one more. And actually, I don't want to put that to there. I want to put it. Ah, this is confusing. How am I going to make this work? Okay, I'm just going to rip up the whole thing here. Okay, so we pick up this diamond pipe. So now this line down here is purely for the processing So the sorting pipe can sit up here, that way, so if we want to have that chest there, we don't want to have that chest there though, instead can we run this, yes we can run that that way, okay so that can run to there, pick these up, the tubing up from here and run this run that to there that I'm probably making this way more complicated than it needs to be but if the tubing comes out to here we put the chest there so that's one line 
we put the diamond pipe here. And then it flows up to there and connects to there. And then I want to have the um, destruction route for the extra cobble and stuff to be after the sorting up here. So that when those barrels are full, it gets destroyed, not when we turn it on or off. That way we don't have to worry about... You know, using up all our cobble and then having no cobble, which is very unlikely, but it wouldn't be a good system if that didn't work. Let's see. Lock that up. You don't care about that now. So... Yeah, I think this will work this way. That there, that there. And... Then all we'd have to do is place the Tesseract. Like here, and run it into this pipe, which would go down to the sorting system. We have some iron pipe, so we can do that. So let's put an iron pipe there, stone pipe here, and here, and then the tesseract there. Set it to the quarry. Tell it to receive only. That's set. So now the items that we put in the default chest and the items that come from the quarry hit that pipe and go down, they hit the diamond pipe here which I'll have to set up just like the old diamond pipe which was all the ores will get sent down red as well as the coal and let's break that uh, nothing will go down blue so we'll put a stick there to default blue we'll stop blue from defaulting so now everything that comes back from processing We'll default down yellow into here and go through into the sorting system. So we only have to put stuff back into red to sort them and then that will work. And I'll have to redo that. I'll have to redo all the um, ore processing if I'm going to turn Greg Tech back on, which I will do. I'm actually recording this straight after last episode so I haven't gotten to do that yet. That'll be fine, so I'll have to put the sorting stuff in there, but for now I'll put a stick to stop stuff from defaulting down there we'll be able to see this working because it'll send everything up yellow that'll connect down to the processing facility which is fine so next step will be break that because we'll need to put a block here but we can still access that and you have to think about this, I'll be back. Okay guys, I grabbed my screwdriver. So I need to orient these. I think like that, yeah, that's it. And like that, yeah. Alright. So they're gonna pull items into the tube network. They're equal distance apart now, which means I think will mean they'll all travel up that way. They won't backflow around like they were doing the first time which was a bit odd so I will um, what was I going to do next okay grab this bit of cabling wire and I need to get a few more of them what we'll do is we'll set up and he goes like this doesn't he Oh no, that was right. Uh, what am I doing? Put that there. Uh, put the lever to control it there. Now we need a bit more red wire. So that we can bridge that gap and connect those up. 
I should have some more. Four, that might be enough. Actually, yeah, that'll be exactly enough. Actually, no, it'll be one short. Damn it. Ah, come on. I must have one red alloy wire somewhere. Yes, three more, alright. That could have been a problem. Alright, there we go. So we need to set this to, what was it? 0.5, I think I had it done. Point three. That'll do, but why aren't they firing? Is that just because there's nothing in there? No, they're not working at all. Why aren't they working? They should be oriented the right way. They should be getting the power. Oh, okay, it was too fast. So it'll work at point 0.5. Yeah, there we go. So that's working now. Uh, the Tesseract should be connected properly. Nothing's going to go down red for the moment. So that should be right. Block there. Uh, I can lock this back up as well, just so it's nice and neat. Oh, that's lagging me too. I thought that might have been the problem. Uh, okay, so that should be fine. It should be working. Alright, let's jump up here and turn on the quarry again. Uh, flip the, is it 22, the quarry? Yes. Alright, so quarry's on. So the Tesseract should start sending items now. Once the power gets to it. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, here we go. Alright. So here come all our items. They're going to hit the gold, uh, hit the iron pipe and default down. Be forced to go down. Then they'll hit the diamond pipe and get sent that way. And I might have to add a gold pipe in there because that is pretty dang slow. They're all going to go that way. They'll hit here, the transposers will pick them up. So the next step with that will probably be to add like a has work somehow to keep this from just being constantly on. Mega all of our stone. All up there. Alright, that looks good. That looks very good. Excellent. Okay, so that's all working now. And that that timer is definitely the cause of the lag I've been getting sometimes. I'm not sure how we can get around that. So I might be able to slow it down a bit, which might help. Oh, oh god, what have I done there? Oh, crashed. Damn it. Okay, sorry about that, guys. I clicked on the timer and the game crashed. But, got back in. I've set it to one second now. And it seems to... I think it's going to just keep up, maybe? Actually no, I don't think it will. So I might drop it down to 0.9. I'll have to tinker with it anyway. I'll get it to the point where it's just able to keep up with the quarry. Because that way, as long as it can keep up with the quarry, it's not going to struggle with anything we put in there. And the quarry won't be on absolutely all the time, I wouldn't think. I hope not. And 
yeah, I don't know, we'll have to look for an alternative to get around that. Something that lets us convert from build craft pipes to red power tubes without you know, having to use a timer, a redstone clock. But we can work that out at another time. So that's working. And we should be able to just throw like random stuff in here. Let's put the zombie brain in there. Ah, uh, what else? Those wood bits. Stick. So now I want that stick. And why isn't that working? Oh, didn't I turn the red? I didn't. Ah. Uh, let's dig our way. Probably help if we actually turn that on. Hey. Uh, I think I can put a lever here without affecting anything else. Yeah, okay, so that's got that one going. Put another one there, that should get that redstone engine going. There's the zombie brain. Alright, now everything should be running. And how's this? Ah, yeah, it's still falling behind. So let's drop it down to 0.8. We'll just have to see, I'll just have to keep playing with it, yeah. But okay, that should all be working now. So our items are now teleporting with the Tesseract. Which means we don't need to run that pipe all the way along there. Which is good because something I sort of realized when I started setting up the chunk loaders is that the further out the quarry went, the more chunk loaders would have to set up in a line to keep all the pipes loaded. So it really was going to become, you know, a bad method of working, even though I like having these pipes set up like this. For things that have to move a lot, like the quarries do and the oil wells, it's better to use the teleporting things. And hopefully the tesseracts won't be as limited and like as laggy as using ender chests would be for the quarry, because we just wouldn't be able to keep up with the quantity of items. Uh, but yeah, that's probably probably enough for an episode I'd say by now. We've got everything turned on at the moment. Even though I'm gonna have to redo all of these diamond pipes once I turn Greg Tech back on because all the ores can change back into the other ones. But that's fine. We pretty much only wanted Greg Tech turned off just to get like the jetpack and a few starting things. Now that we've got these and we're you know, comfortable we can turn it back on. So we've got 50, 50 buckets of fuel in our storage so far and the pipe should be working. Yeah, that's all good. So yeah, I set that up between last episode and this one. So we have that tank there now working. This thing's back to blue efficiency because we have the quarry running, but that's fine. That's pretty much to be expected. And yeah, alright, that'll do for this one guys. Let's see, we've still got plenty of oil coming in, so once that, once the ender tank empties, I'll know that the um, oil well is empty and we'll have to move it again. But for now, all looking good. We've got lots of power, heaps of power, and the um, jetpack's empty again. But next episode, we will move on to an energy tesseract. Get one of them built next, and... Will tear down the wire, the cabling for the quarry as well. And then we'll really be moving. We'll be ready to fully automate the quarry. And yeah, once we have that working, once I have the processing set back up, which I'll just do off camera, that's just like resetting the um, diamond pipes, that's nothing to make an episode about. Once we get that done, we'll probably have to start looking at getting the farm automation set up next. Because we're, we need like the wood and stuff coming in because we don't have renewable wood at the moment, which could end up being a problem. Eventually... Oh yeah, I don't think there were any items. Nah, so that was just a, a, a um, visibility glitch with the tubes looking like they're connected to the redstone engines. So that's fine. 
that'll do for this one guys and yeah we'll work on the energy tesseract in the next episode see you